Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So I am very excited about today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys dollar store gift baskets. So super affordable, really easy to do, and every single product that you see today in these gift baskets are all from the dollar store. I got mine from the Dollarama, but you can get pretty much the exact same items at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and if not the exact same, pretty darn close. So this video is gonna work for you no matter what dollar store you have in your area, and I'm just really, really happy with the way the gift baskets turned out. I think they're really awesome. Awesome. Like I said, super easy to do as well. Just so cute and the best thing you guys, super, super affordable. Definitely budget friendly. You definitely do not have to break the bank for these gift baskets. So I cannot wait to share with you guys. Also, I am rocking my ugly Christmas sweater today. Just getting in the Christmas mood. I just am so excited for Christmas. I can't wait. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy these gift basket ideas and maybe draw some inspiration from them. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so this first gift basket is a hot chocolate gift basket. I love this one. So I'm starting out with this gift tray that I I actually got at the dollar store and adding in this red shredded paper and i'm just going to try to you know fix this up to the way i like it next i'm just adding in this assorted pack of hot chocolate and i'm going to go ahead and place this in the back i thought it'd be cute just to add in a cookie mix because you know hot chocolate cookies they kind of go together so i'm just putting this in the back as well all right this one's just kind of like a funny little add-in so these are some santa claus boxers so i'm just rolling these up and i'm just going to place them in front of the hot chocolate Next, I'm putting in this adorable Santa Claus mug. I love this, I think it's so cute. And I'm just placing it in there, and at this point, I'm just kind of also fixing things up as well. Just trial and error with, with the gift basket. I'm also just adding in these like loose packets of hot chocolate, just putting that inside of the mug. And also just for a little cute touch, I'm adding in these little candy canes as well. Next, we have this really nice glass tumbler with the straw and lid. As you guys can see, it already has hot chocolate inside, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more as well. So I think I put in about three or four packs of hot chocolate, and of course, we cannot forget the marshmallows. <laughs> and this is what it looks like right here. Obviously, if you didn't wanna you know, touch these with your fingers and you were giving it to somebody, you could always use like a funnel or something. So just to finish off the basket and kind of fill up any empty spaces, I picked up these fake snowballs and I'm just going to put these in at any spot that I think kind of needs a little added touch. And same thing goes with these little holly berries. I'm just kind of sticking these in randomly, but I ended up moving these around a little bit more. Okay, these were too cute not to put in. I feel like they kind of complete the box as well. So they're just little spread sticks of gingerbread and a Santa Claus, and I'm just kind of placing these in randomly. And again, same thing with this reindeer. I thought it was just the cutest thing ever, so had to put it in there. And here we have the finished result for the hot chocolate gift basket. I absolutely love this one, you guys. I think it's so cute, so festive. And who doesn't love a good hot chocolate, right? <laughs> Okay, this one I'm calling my spa night gift basket. So I'm starting out again with that red shredded paper and just placing that inside of this wicker basket. This is what kind of kicked off the gift basket for me. This is a bubble bath, but it's in the shape of like a champagne bottle. Absolutely adorable. Next, I picked up this hand mask. I thought it was just a little bit different from, you know, your regular face mask. And I'm just placing that in the back of the bubble bath. Here we have this makeup set, but it's actually all chocolate. I thought this was so cute. And again, just placing that right in the back there. Here we have a pre-wrapped bath bomb. This is perfect because you don't have to do any work with it. You can just place it in there and it already looks super cute. Next, I just picked up some comfy, cozy socks. You can never go wrong with a pair of socks and just placing that on the side there. Next, I decided to put in a pack of makeup wipes and we're just gonna place that in the middle. Next, we have an amazing smelling candle. Again, I feel like you can't go wrong with candles. I think everybody loves them, so I'm just placing that at the front. We have some eye masks, and at this point, I'm just kind of like messing around with the placement of each product, just trying to get it to look the way that I want it to. That's the thing about gift baskets. It's not going to be perfect your first try. And next, I just went ahead and decided to put in this pumice stone, and I'm just putting that at the side there. Again, we have another candle. This one is in the shape of a little mason jar. I think it's so, so cute. And I'm just placing that right at the top went ahead and picked up a basic nail polish you can kind of do whatever color you want and I'm just putting that in there as well and last but not least I'm finishing it off with some chapsticks all right you guys so this is the finished product of the spa night gift basket this one is really great super cute and I feel like it's also very practical as well because who doesn't love a good relaxing spa night <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, next we have a fun one. This is the movie night gift basket. So I'm starting out with a bag of popcorn. This is just from the brand Bad Monkey and placing that at the back. Then I went ahead and grabbed this Pepsi, but you can also choose, you know, whatever flavor you'd like. And again, I'm placing that at the back. Next, we have some Reese's Cups. Again, this one's pretty customizable, so you can kind of do whatever candy you'd like and placing that at the very back as well. These are so cute and it's kind of what kicked off the basket for me. These are popcorn baskets, you get four of them and I'm placing that right at the side. I also grabbed chips just in case maybe they're not a fan of popcorn and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right inside the popcorn basket. Next, I picked up this super cute reusable tumbler and I'm just putting that in there as well. All right, and last but not least, you know we have to finish it off with some good old candy. So I picked up these Mike and Ikes, and I also picked up these watermelon slices as well. And you'll see me in a bit here. I'm just going ahead and fixing up the placement of everything. I find a really good, easy way to do a gift basket is just to put everything in and fix it up at the very end. And here we have the finished movie night gift basket. I really like this one because I feel like it's super customizable and kind of do, you know, whatever you want with this. So I, this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so this is the cleaning gift basket. So this one is filled with so many cleaning goodies, starting off with this dustpan set. I think this is so cute. Next, I just picked up a basic pack of sponges and I'm just putting that right at the back. Here we have some Resolve Spray, and right now I'm just gonna go ahead and place it at the back. I will say this one did take me a little bit to kind of figure out because it did have so many big bulky items. Next, we have some Lysol. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that in there as well. Next, we have some good old Method anti back Spray. I cannot believe the dollar store sells all these brand name items, you guys, for so much less as well. Like, this basket is definitely a good, like, bang for your buck basket. And as you guys can see here, I'm kind of just fixing everything up. Next, we have another Lysol product. This is the bathroom foam, and I'm just placing that at the side for right now. Okay, again, another Lysol product. These are the Click Gels, just placing at the front. This next item right here, the Febreze Fabric Spray in the scent Cranberry. You guys already know I love this stuff. It smells amazing, and it's also holiday themed as well. Again, Lysol is popping up. I swear Lysol has not sponsored me, but hey, if you'd like to. <laughs> and here I'm just getting some loose sponges, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill any, you know, empty spot, which in this basket, there's definitely not too many. So I picked up this super cute dish towel. You could even do like a holiday themed one if you'd like. I rolled it up and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it at the back. And then the same thing with this dishcloth. So since this one is super colorful and very vibrant, I figured, you know what, let's spice it up even more. I took this beaded garland and I'm just kind of randomly placing this wherever, you know, I feel like it needs to go. And surprisingly, I got it on the first try. That does not happen too often. And last but not least, just doing the finishing touches and just putting everything where I feel like it needs to be. And here we have the finished result of the cleaning basket, you guys. Like I said, I feel like this basket is definitely the best bang for your buck. You get a lot of great products in here, and you definitely did not have to spend a lot of money on it. All right, we've made it to the last basket. This one's basically just going to be for any guy in your life. So I'm starting out with this painter's tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and plop that right in the back. Next, I picked up these super awesome flannel pajamas. Who doesn't love a good pair of PJs? And I rolled them up, and I'm putting them right in the back. So here we have some Javex multi-service cleaning wipes. These are essentially just for your car, just putting these right next to the pajamas and also fixing them up a little bit. Next, I went ahead and picked up this gigantic thing of Pert 2-in-1. This one, again, has a lot of like bulkier items, so I'm just kind of placing those right at the back for now. Here we have a 50-pack of shop towels. These are great for anybody that does a lot of work outside or a lot of work with cars. And I'm bringing back the Lazy Guys. Who doesn't love chips? So I'm just going to go ahead and plop those in right there. So as you guys saw in the spa night basket, I did a makeup set that was chocolate. So this is actually the toolkit version. And I thought, again, super, super cute. Also, who doesn't love a good coffee mug? So I'm going to go ahead and place that right in the front. And again, I am bringing back the boxers just as kind of like a little, you know, funny gag gift. So I'm just rolling these up and then I went ahead and folded them. And I'm just going to place these right inside the coffee mug. And last but not least, you guys, as always, just fixing everything up. All right, and here we have the finished results for the basket for any guy in your life, but this could also work for anybody in general as well. All right, you guys, so those were all the gift baskets that I put together. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Also, let me know if you made it this far into the video, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, is it the decorating? Is it putting up the tree, the baking, spending time with your family, getting some gifts? <laughs> let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part about Christmas. And also, if there's any other Christmas videos that you'd like to see from me, definitely let me know. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, definitely 
definitely go ahead and check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I will have those linked down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.